Hey, Ray John, Wendell Clark here. How you doing? I heard Ray John pulls nothing but fire. I don't know what that means. Nobody told me what that means. Nothing but fire. Check them out. 204 breaks. All the best. Hey, this is Brett the Hitman Hart, and I want you to check out Ray at 204 Breaks for all your hockey card and case breaks. Ray and the 204 Breaks group is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. So join now. And I'm talking across Canada, Alberta and Canada. Everybody, come check out Ray at 204 Breaks. What's going on guys? Okay, we're back here with a bit of a marathon break, I guess, 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Core Box Random Team Break number one. And when I say number one, it's because it's the first time we're breaking four boxes of this. We did cases, we did half cases. <laughs> what's up, Eric? Nathan, what's going on? Carrie, what's going on? Mr. Kowalski in the building. Um yeah, so we got a fresh master here, guys. And uh, we're going to pull four boxes out of here. Probably the four on the left. I always like going left to right. You know, it's it's how we read books. Right? We go from left to right. So, volume's low? Shouldn't be. It should be really high. Uh, I have not adjusted the volume whatsoever. <laughs> Can you guys double check? Because I'm getting maxed um, volume on my end. Can anyone confirm if there's a problem with the volume, guys? Could be just Eric's phone or wherever he's watching on, maybe. Could be maybe your phone broke. What's up, Darby? Sounds fine to Nathan. Okay, we're good to go. I'm going to assume. Okay, I'm going to take these two stacks out. You know what? I'm going to show you the serial numbers for these ones so we know that the next breaks are going to be these ones right here. Uh, I haven't adjusted anything. Seems... Okay, um, 6977-6202-2845-6618. My... My volume is the same as it's always been. That's weird. Okay, let me let me see if I can adjust something here. Let me just show you the last year numbers here of this case so that when I do break the other half or the other parts, you'll know it's from the same case. 6645, 6961, 6092, or 6892, and then 6478. So... Remember those four serial numbers. We'll have them all uploaded onto the video anyway. Um, really? It's low? L let me see if I can adjust something here. Okay, guys? Give me one second. I don't think it's low, but... Well, I know you're not crazy, but... I, d I haven't changed anything from before. So I don't know why it would be low. 
I got the mic right up to my face. Some people it's normal, some people it's low. Uh, my, oh, I don't know. I have not adjusted anything on my computer. Everything says 100% here. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, what I'll do is maybe, um, I'll do a restart actually. Let me do a restart then. Like, is it low to the point where you guys can't hear me whatsoever? Like, is it, am I muffled? You guys can't hear me at all? Like, wh what do you mean? I need to know. I need some feedback. Because some guys are saying it's low. Some people are saying it's fine. Like, I, I need to know before I start, guys. Because this is too, uh. No, nothing's changed unless I need a new mic. Like, if you can see, like, look, like, my mic is right up to my face. Right there. You know? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, everyone's saying it's all good. Some guys are saying... You can do it, just not normal. Chris says we're good. Okay, but how about the visual? Is the visuals okay? Is video good? <laughs> okay, 6655-6917-6639 and 0702. I'll try and yell then. <laughs> if that helps. It's weird. I, I don't know what to say because I haven't adjusted anything. I haven't touched any settings. I haven't done nothing. So, um, try maybe watching on, uh, Twitch. See if Twitch is better. Cause it could, I don't know if it could be Facebook, but maybe guys can watch on Twitch. Maybe that might help. I'm not sure, but if you want, I can yell. I can raise my voice a little bit here. There, try on Twitch. It's at the, it's one of those links there. Okay, well, either way, the show must go on as long as you can see and as long as everyone can hear me. I'll be all right, I hope. Uh-oh. Now it's being wonky. All right, you know what? I'm just going to keep going because I got to open all these packs. And uh, you guys let me know if there's any issues uh, while we're doing this. So, all right, we got the four boxes. I'm going to start cracking packs. And uh, you guys can let me know. Because uh, the show's got to go on, guys. And this is going to take a while because it's four boxes. So. All right, I got it. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Man, it's Thursday night football is brutal to watch for me because I'm a Patriots fan. Um, so hard to watch. It's so tough to watch them all year. I think I would have been. A lot more I think it would have been a lot easier for me if Brady was still a pat and then they declined but the fact that he left and now they're just horrible it's like that's tough it's tough to watch for me <laughs> it's kind of depressing for me to be honest Yeah, um, I'm going to double check the microphone after this break because, yeah, cam's trash. Okay, I'm glad you guys can hear me. <laughs> 
yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's very, very depressing for me as a Patriots fan to watch. Like I said, if, uh, if, if, if Brady was there and they were playing just as bad, I would have taken it a lot easier than him leaving and then them playing bad, you know? Oh, nice. So I'm assuming you're a Pats fan, Josh? I'm going to assume. I'm, I'm a, I know I really shouldn't assume, but... But, um, horrible. Like, it's horrible for me to watch, to be honest. Like, I can't, uh, I can't stand it. You know, I get... I've, I've been a Patriots fan since high school, and, like, I've been watching it every year. And, yeah, we've had... Uh, you know ups and downs and but a lot more ups than downs <laughs> but um this is just super hard to watch like it's super tough like i said i would have taken it a lot more easier if brady stayed and then they declined you know like they just dropped but the fact that brady laughed and you know <laughs> kind of a double stinger for me you know what I mean? That's just me. Like, I, I know a lot of people don't like the Patriots. Like, a lot of people don't. But, um, I've always been a fan. And I, I'm not a bandwagon jumper. Like, I've watched since Bledsoe. So, <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to watch right now. Very tough to watch for me. For me, that is. Okay, we'll get through this first box just to... Just so we can say we got through something here. All right, here we go. Good luck, guys. Philip Broberg for the Oilers is our first hit. We got a Young Guns Nicholas Bodine for the Blackhawks canvas. Next hit is a Tyler Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. We got Martin Coat for the Avalanche. There is another Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. Kasperi Kapanen for the Leafs jersey card. Gabriel Landeskog canvas for Colorado as well. Look at that. Colorado already with like three hits so far. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, look who decided to show up early today. Alexi Lafreniere. Nice hit. Look at that. Alexi Lafreniere. Regular young gun for the Rangers. In the first box, too. First box mojo. Not bad. All right, Max Domi for Montreal. Kiefer Bellows. How's the audio? Can you still hear me at least? That's an Islanders hit. There is a Nathan McKinnon, another Colorado hit. Wow. Nice one. And we got Nick Suzuki for Montreal. There is Quinn Hughes for Vancouver. Uh, Henrik Lundqvist for the Rangers. Eric Stahl canvas for Minnesota. Minnesota. Mikey Anderson for LA. Yeah, Lafreniere off the first box. That's pretty good. Hopefully we could... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's you, Simon, I'm playing in the playoffs right now? <laughs> I, I started camming the other ones, though. <laughs> Sid the Kid. I started him in the other ones. Kivaranta. Nice hit for Dallas. Another Dallas Thomas Harley. Young gun. Freddie Anderson. Toronto. I didn't realize I was playing you there. Noah Dobson for the Islanders. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the playoffs, yeah. Oh, man, good luck to you too, bro. 
Ryan Getzlav for the Ducks. That's awesome. I didn't know it was you. Uh, Claude Giroux for the Flyers. Korshkov for the Leafs. And I think that's the last hit of that box. So, wow, one box and Lafreniere showed up. All right, let's uh, start cracking more of these packs. And uh, we'll do maybe these last three boxes. We'll just rip open and then we'll uh, we'll just go on from there. We'll do the whole break in one shot instead of uh, pulling a box at a time. Because I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, guys. <laughs> I don't want this to be an hour-long uh, break or anything like that. So, Lafreniere decided to show up. That's pretty good. Let's hope and uh, let's hope and see if he can show up again. That'd be nice if we uh, pull more than one. I mean, we've done it before, so I don't think it could be uh, that hard. We've done it twice before, actually. So, I think we'll be okay. No, no, not twice. I'm sorry. We've done it three times before. Yeah, we pulled six Lafreniers and three Masters, and then we did, I think, one in a six box or something like that. Something of that nature. But um, two of those Master cases were for the Expo, so. <clears throat> Still, the numbers are good. The numbers are very good. I am really, really having a hard time watching this football game, so. Simon, I, I can't even believe I'm in the playoffs. I didn't even realize I was doing that uh, that well. I, I I like to join fantasy, but I don't. I really, I barely, barely keep up with it. So <laughs> I'm probably the perfect person to have in your fantasy league because literally all I do is donate. I don't really do research. I don't, you know. I just think it's fun, and whenever I can get to it, half the time I don't even set my. Uh, Half the time, I don't even set my uh, my team for the week. You know, I kind of do it like an hour before. <laughs> so, if you, yeah, no kidding. We better get a touchdown. I want Cam Newton to get a touchdown. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you wanna, if you want somebody who donates, <laughs> I'm your guy. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, like, fantasy's fun, I guess, it's just, I, I don't take it as serious as some people do, but, I mean, I, I really should, because I am paying the fee, but, yeah, like, what did I make, like, how, what did I make in the standings, I think I made, like, no, there's no way. I I think I made... I don't know if I made it that far. <laughs> I'm in so many fantasy leagues, I can't remember uh, which ones are which. But yeah. Like I said, if you... Uh, if you want a guy who uh, just wings it every... <laughs> every week, I'm your guy. I, I really don't uh, pay attention too much with fantasy, I, like I said, I really should though, but um, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm not that up to par with my sports. <laughs> I wish I was though. I wish I was. Especially, um, you know, being a breaker and all, I should know a lot of my players. Well, I mean, knowing the players is different than, than um, actually how, seeing how they actually perform on a week-to-week -week basis is different. Doesn't make me any less of a sports fan, guys. <laughs> Alright, we're going to open the second box, and then we'll probably run to the third box, and open that quick, and then we'll just run the break like that, guys. But yeah, for those watching, uh, or that just tuned in, we opened the first box, and Lafreniere was in there, so... I'm gonna go check and see what's going on with my whole uh, audio situation here with with the mic. You guys are saying that it's really quiet. Some are saying it's fine. I I gotta double check the settings and see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if Eric came back, but how's it sounding on Twitch?
I was uh, I was more thinking uh, with my heart than my uh, than my brain, Josh. Just being a Pats fan, I <laughs> I thought more with my heart than I did with my uh, my brain. I guess you can call it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a bad start. But um, he wasn't the only QB I had. I mean, I did have Justin Herbert, I believe, in some leagues. Lamar Jackson I had but he wasn't having a crazy year either and then the whole COVID thing and it was just rough it's been a, it was a rough fantasy le uh, season for me this year but yeah, that's the way she goes I think what I need to do is just win one year and then I'll be back into it again <laughs> There's some weeks that are just nail biters where, you know, you, if you just had, I mean, I think everyone goes through it, but if you're like, you know, if you just put in a certain player that you would have won kind of deal, I think I have that every week, <laughs> which is pretty rough, pretty bad. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, I'm just there to have fun, guys. Uh, I'm the donator. That's what they call it, you know? It's like if you play poker, I'm just the guy that's just in there playing bingo. <laughs> I make the people at the table mad. <laughs> Absolutely no skill set whatsoever. Just plain bingo. <laughs> Alright, this is the last box and then we'll go on with the break, guys. Yeah, a lot of guys take it very seriously, the whole fantasy thing, which is cool. Like, I'm not knocking it. It's just, I, I just didn't, uh, I did it myself. <laughs> That's all. And I really should have, right? So, I really should have taken it more seriously, but it's too late now. I guess playoffs already started, and here I am. Are uh, you buying for a spot to get a random team, David? And then you, um, I guess, yeah, then you get random the team and whatever hits come up for that team, uh, you get, my friend. Yeah, he won't be getting a touchdown. <laughs> I didn't start him, though, so. <laughs> Simon says I didn't start him, so. I, I didn't even, honestly, ch I didn't even check, to be honest with you. <laughs> I probably have Tom Brady in there somewhere. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm uh, playing with my heart, not my, uh, <laughs> not my uh, brain. All right. Man, these packs are weird. Like sometimes the packs are stuck together. Oh, I got Baker. Oh, I mean, it's in that league. Okay. Oh, I, he had a heyday. Or a, yeah, he had a heyday last week. Eh? It was like the first week I put I picked up Baker. And then he lit it up for like four touchdowns in the first half. Like literally, the, I, I've never... I've never had him before that. I just picked him up on waivers. That week, literally, and then he had like four touchdowns in like the first half, and he lit it up for me, so that was pretty decent. That was a shocker, actually. Uh, I think I'm in like four different leagues, so. Yeah, cool, Baker. I don't think he's going to do well this week, so. You might have an advantage on me there, Simon. <laughs> That's awesome. It's good to know who you're playing now. So, I, I never knew that. I never knew that was you. Everyone has their unique names for uh, for fantasy, and uh, I never know who's who. I just find out after the fact. Okay, here we go. Last pack, Mojo. Okay, there we go. 
That is uh, the last three boxes. Just going to move these over. There we go. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go on with the break. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me and uh, the video is okay. So, hopefully, you guys are still here. Look at this. The first three cards are blues. Oh, no, never mind. All right, there's Rasmus Ristolainen. Canvas for Buffalo. There's Sidney Crosby for Pittsburgh. Jack Hughes for the Devils. There is Nikita Kucherov for Tampa. There's a French Klingberg. Martin Cote for the Avs. Avalanche got a lot of hits already. Nick Suzuki, rookie retrospective. Sidney Crosby for Pittsburgh, canvas. Pierre Olivier Joseph for Pittsburgh, young gun. There is a portrait of Nathan McKinnon. Wow, Colorado. Oh, that's crazy. Verdeen for the Jets. So you have... Oh, nice. You got Lamar. That's going to be sick. That's going to be fun. I have Lamar in another league. <laughs> that's awesome. It's going to be bittersweet because I hope he plays well and I hope he doesn't. Sebastian Ajo for the Hurricanes. That is a pink dazzler. Lucas Carlson for the Blackhawks. That is an English young gun. Uh, Hiskinen for Dallas. Dallas has got quite a few hits as well. Uh, Jack Hughes, retrospective for the Devils. Kucherov for the Lightning. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Let's go. Matt Kachuk, Calgary. I believe that's going to Dez. Pierre Olivier Joseph Young Gun Clear Cut for Pittsburgh. Who's got the Penguins? That's a nice hit. Let's get that one sleeved up. Pierre Olivier Joseph. Pittsburgh Penguins. Who's got the pens in this? Uh, Pat Lenahan, nice hit. Nice one. All right, we got Matt Zuccarello for Minnesota. The other break be tonight? Uh, which one? <laughs> There's a few breaks. Jean, Pe uh, Jean, Jean Gabriel Pajot for the Islanders, sorry. Uh, Zaggy Doolin, Calgary. Young gun. Uh, Zabanajad for the Rangers. Uh, David, um, when I'm off the live, I can show you, actually. It's $25. Uh, Ryan McLeod for the Oilers, and that's for four boxes. Ooh, Tuka Rask, NHL Worldwide. I didn't realize he was from Finland. Tuka Rask. Uh, that's a Boston hit for sure. Is he still going to be playing for Boston this year? What do you guys think? All right. Here we go. Um, As long as it's full and paid up, I don't mind running it, guys. No problem. Is it is it full? Jack Hughes for the Devils. Jonathan Huberto for Florida. Reed Duke, Vegas. There you go, Nathan. Uh, Pasternak for the Bruins. Yeah, right after here, uh, shoot me a PM and I'll send you the right, uh, I'll give you the information. Josh Norris sends, unless you want to ask any of the other admins. Nikita Gusev, they could probably lead you in the right direction. Gusev for the Devils. That's nice. Nice hit, Gusev, debut dates. Devils. Um, Pedersen, there you go. Patterson. Morgan Riley for the Leafs. What do you guys think of the new or the alignment that they're going to do with an all Canadian uh, 
division. That's going to be pretty neat, eh? Gabe Velarde. Nice for the Kings. Gabriel Velarde. You got that to focus. Nice hit. Kiefer Bellows. Islanders. Connor McMichael. Washington. That's an English young one. Blue Dazzler Mitch Marner for the Leafs. Oh, yeah. Kyle Connor for the Jets. That's a nice card. Nice canvas. Uh, another McKinnon. Nice Colorado hit. We're getting quite a few uh, Avalanche hits in this break. Another Marner. And we got a Ajo for the Hurricanes. Right, that's that. We got a jersey card here for the Red Wings, Justin Ablocator. There you go. There's a jersey card for. Ooh, Stidham's in now. Wow. Jake Ottinger for the Stars. Young gun. Roman Yossi for Nashville. Uh, Victor Olafson for Buffalo. Tyler Bertuzzi for the Wings. Another Red Wings hit. Uh, Darcy Kemper for the Yotes. I think that's the first Yotes hit. Uh, French James Neal for the Oilers. Tyler Benson for the Oilers. That's two Oilers hits in a row. Tyler Benson. All right, last box, guys. See if we can pull another Lafreniere out of here. Uh, a French Tony D'Angelo for the Rangers. Right there, Rangers. This is the last box. Jason Robertson for the Stars. A lot of Stars young guns. Jason Robertson. They probably got the most young guns so far. Keith Yandel. Panthers. Uh, Kyle Palmieri for the Devils. Kale McCarr. Colorado. There is Jakob Voracek for the Flyers. John Marino, Pittsburgh. That's that. We had a nice clear cut today. Clear cut young one. Canvas of Eric Carlson for the Sharks. Come on, focus. There you go. Eric Carlson. Victor Soderstrom. There's a Yotes young gun. Josh Norris for the Sens. I think that's our first Sens hit. Thomas Harley. Dallas. Artemi Panarin. Blue Dazzler for the Rangers. Jake Evans. Montreal. Young Guns. Gabe Velarde. Nice hit. Canvas for LA. There's a Barkov. Like I said, I didn't even realize Barkov, uh, I didn't know Barkov was from Finland. That's, that's neat. I thought he was Russian. Uh, Brock Nelson, Islanders. I think I had this conversation already. <laughs> uh, Drew Doughty for the Kings. All right, this is the last stack, guys. Phil Kessel for the Yotes. We got Capo Caco for the Rangers. That's going to be fun to watch. Him and Lafreniere. Kuznetsov for the Capitals. Another Kivaranta for Dallas. See if we get another Kivaranta. Maybe we can get another, uh, another Lafreniere. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Pavel Frankuz. Young Gun. Colorado. And an exclusive Andre Kopitar. 77 out of 100. There's a Kopi. And I think the Kopi is the last hit of the break, guys. So that was fun. Four boxes. We still managed to get the Lafreniere out of one. So I've seen guys open cases and they don't even get one. 
or they get just one and we did it in uh a third of the case guys so not for you showed up that was a fun break you know i love chatting it up with you guys whenever we break series one um yeah as we're stacked uh the uh, the stars had uh, a lot of hits it was, it was fun guys thanks again get me your updated addresses i know there's a, quite a few here um that were are new so please pm me your mailing addresses and i'll get these cards out uh first thing tomorrow morning thanks again everybody i appreciate it thank you again for the support we love you guys and uh, I'll see everybody soon.